Welcome back everyone to another TechZone video. In my last video, I showed you a tricky video of my netbook having a transparent screen. I'm going to show you how you can do that uh, in Sony Vegas Pro. I know some comments have said like, oh, this is using chroma key and green screen. Okay, we got it. But there's some people who don't know how to do it. So I'm just going to show the steps what I did in uh, doing this. So uh, for some who don't know about that video, this is what we're going to be doing today. Okay, so there are several steps you need to take before doing anything. Now you may be thinking why my wallpaper is green. I'm sure you know green screen, right? So get a picture of a simple color, light green color like this, and apply it as your wallpaper. We're going to be replacing this green color as the video which I'm going to show you in a moment. And also, this is optional. If you have Windows 7, Windows Vista, or some plugins in Windows XP, you might want to disable transparency in them because um, if you have transparency, the taskbar could be a little bit mixed up, unless you want to, but uh, in this case, I've disabled transparency. Okay, so now I'm, go now I'm going to talk about what you will need to do with your camera. Now, y there will be, you need to record two footages. One footage will be a video of your computer with the green wallpaper on it and you're going to do whatever you like you can mess with it show off and all that and the other video will be just basically nothing there it's 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 going to be in the same position the video must be recorded as this exactly the same position as you did in the first one otherwise it's going to be messed up um, and it must be recorded the same amount of time and uh, well that's about it so if you want to get it accurate you might want to get a camera stand which is very useful that's what I used actually so um, with everything ready let's get to it so let's open up Sony Vegas I'm gonna be using Sony Vegas Pro 8 for this I have Sony Vegas Pro 9 uh, I didn't install it yet Okay, so I believe it's done loading, and two of the video, two of the videos are already here, so I'm just gonna highlight them and drag them into the timeline. Okay, so here's the video with the netbook, and here's the video without the netbook, recorded from the same position. Now you may be asking, why does the second footage look brighter? I'll answer that question in a bit. Uh, we're gonna fix that. Now here's the thing, the second footage without the uh, netbook should be placed below the track with the uh, laptop, okay? Now you don't really need the audio so I'm gonna delete that track and I'm gonna correct the time so it should be the same, it should end at the same time. Okay so now we're gonna replace this green screen. So Here's the easiest step, and this is where the magic happens. Go to VDFX, and then go to Chroma here, and select green screen. You're gonna drag it onto the video which has the, you know, laptop, and presto, you're done. And now, if you play the video, let me just play it now. You can see it is now transparent and we have already done the magic but there's one thing that people would not believe it yet the screen's too bright so we need to correct that uh, unless you have a different color of wallpaper like a blue screen or a red screen then here's what you can do select the eye picker tool or the pick color from screen button and then you will get this eye picker tool or whatever you're gonna move your cursor towards the part of the video which has that color and select it and then it should change it make changes automatically I'm just gonna put it as default okay otherwise if you have a blue screen you can drag the blue screen button if you have a pure red screen that means it's really really red color then select that 
Okay, so now that we have done that, let's correct the brightness and the color. This is what I did. Go to color corrector, secondary, okay? You're gonna drag the reset to non preset to the video without the netbook, okay? And on the chrominance, you're gonna drag the small button to change the color. Just look around and see which color fits most. Which is right about. Well, there, okay. Now we need to reset the brightness if we want. So let me change the offset. The offset is pretty much what we need to change. And the gain. And, uh. Okay, now we're done. And now, if you look at the video, we have successfully done the trans paper. Trans. Oh my god. Transparent wallpaper, if you can see right now. You can see there's the transparent background. Now, moving the laptop around, you can see everything is going perfectly. And you can notice the taskbar is not transparent, so that also goes well. By the way, this is the exact same video as the previous one. Okay, so that's about it. So we have successfully uh, done the green screen part. I'm sure you have learned something about chroma keyer. And, um, uh, well, that's about it. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, watch, subscribe for more. So thanks for watching, and have a great day.